they come. Here they come. Get ready. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Take them. I got them. I got them. I got them. Dude, that was a hawk. Gosh dang, man. You sure? Oh, man. Hey, man, you shot that, not me. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films. First off, a lot of these videos I'm going to be updating you guys with my social media. I, you know, I got 55 videos now. I haven't put it out there enough. My social media is right here. I mainly use Instagram. I do have a Facebook. They're linked in the description. Also, if at the end of the video you want to click it, so go follow me. All kinds of tasty short videos and pictures and updates when I upload. So. Today's video is for all of you beginner waterfowlers. I've seen all your comments lately. I've been, you know, responding to every one of you guys. I love having you, you new waterfowlers here that are eager to learn because that is why I'm here. So today's video is gonna be about mainly just duck decoys. We're not gonna do geese today. So duck decoys, building your spread right when you start duck hunting. What do you need to buy? You know, what's necessary? Is it till season? Is it regular season? Is it early season? Is it late season? What decoys do you need to buy now at the beginning that are gonna, you know, last you until you're, you know, until you're 50 or, you know, decoy won't last that long, but what decoys will get you by and be the ultimate use for you, you know, if you're gonna spend your money on them? I'm gonna start with till season because, you know, that's the opener. That's, that's the beginning of duck season, so till. You know, if you're a beginner waterfowler right now, you have no decoys and you're like, I want to go hit up some teal on opening day. Well, guess what? You don't have to go buy teal decoys. Now, if you have the money for them, that's fine. Go buy them. They're, they are helpful in teal season. I'm not going to lie. They, they add a lot of real characteristics that the birds are going to recognize, obviously, especially in teal season. But... There was a lot of years, you know, the first one, two years that me and my best friend Wade, you guys have seen him in all the videos, he needs to sit down here and do a gosh dang video with me what he needs to do, but he's too much of a poo. But guys, the first year to two years, me and Wade, we got it done with, with you know, drakes and hen floaters. That, that was it. They, they were the hot buys. They were the cheap ones. We didn't have a bunch of money back then. We still whack the till, even on public waters, especially on private, obviously. Till, till aren't that, you know, smart to say, oh, there's no till in there. I'm not going to land there. People will probably love to argue that fact of, oh, you got to have a full till spread and blah, blah, blah to shoot till. No, you don't. Don't waste your money on till if it's your first or second season. If it's your second season, you have some money, go buy the things. If you get them on a good deal this year, buy them up. They do help. I'm not saying they suck, just it's not necessary at the beginning. Another decoy that you don't have to go out of your way to spend the money on is pintails. Now, I am speaking for my region where I hunt. I've never really hunted out of the state of Kansas and so, so I'm talking about what works for me in the Midwest. If you have a bunch of pintails, sure, you're probably gonna want or need possibly some pintail decoys. But for me here in Kansas, I'm sure it goes the same with Oklahoma, Nebraska, whatever. This also goes for woodies. You don't have to go out and buy the woodies too. So I'm gonna talk about pintails and woodies. They're two kind of specialty ducks, especially in decoys. You can kill woodies and pintails in drakes and hen mallard decoys. So all I'm saying guys is don't think that you have to have all these little intricate details worked out in your spread. It doesn't work that way, especially in the beginning. Now if you can tell that there's a big concentration of pintails or you come across that, sure it's going to help, but you're still going to shoot them. Like if you can call good, and, and the weather's cooperating with you and you're set up according to the wind and they really want to be there and, and they're not heavily pressured, you know, early season, right when the opener comes, it's going to be heavy and it's going to be hot. So, you know, through the season, I'm telling you guys, if it's your first or second year, don't go out of your way. You don't have to buy woody decoys and pintail decoys and, and teal decoys and go spend the money on those 
you know, those odd decoys. Honestly, guys, when, when it's your first and second year of doing this stuff, I know there's a lot of you out there. It's crazy me seeing your guys' comments and, and you guys letting me know. You know, drop a comment right now. That, that gives me a great idea. Drop a comment. Let me know how long you've been hunting. If all you guys are, are beginners, let me know so I know how to guide my videos for the main population of viewers. So please, guys, drop a comment. Let me know. I'm serious. But, but, but back to my original thought before I got sidetracked with the comment and deal. Guys, go buy you some of those hot buy decoys. I'm not even sure what brand they are. I don't even look anymore. I haven't bought decoys for a while. The only, especially duck, I, I've bought... You know, we've bought goose and, and we bought wind socks lately, but I haven't bought ducks. So, all I'm saying, guys, is I'd rather see you guys build your spread with Drake and Hen Mallard, something that's universal and it's going to work for you really well throughout the year and for years to come, rather than see you spend your money, because I know a lot of you are young, on stuff that it's going to work. It'll help throughout the year, sure, but. You don't need it right now. You need to get that spread built up, whether it's water or filled, and and you know the more the merrier to me. I'm not saying you have to have a lot. With that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys that go buy your floaters first. So go buy you some floaters first. Get get a couple dozen, three dozen, however many you can afford built up. That's gonna get you on public water. It's gonna get you on rivers. It's gonna get you on ponds. It's gonna get you on open bodies of water where you can string them out in a straight line. I know a lot of you guys have seen that where they're hunting big bodies of water, it's strung out in a long line. That's gonna do it. Three, four dozen for sure. Why I made this is that extra money that you might have, you and a buddy going in together, whatever, put the money in mojos. Buy you a dang mojo. Don't buy another half dozen decoys or whatever. Go buy you a mojo three dozen, two dozen decoys on any body of water, especially if it's a river or if it's small, two dozen and a mojo, you can do about anything with as far as duck hunting. So that's for the water. Now let's hit up field. Full body ducks in the field. Guys, remember, mojo is versatile. Buy you a mojo or two. You can have two of these things, Mojos are great. I will live by them and die. <laughs> live by them and die by them. I'm serious. In the field, on the water, mojos are great. We, me and Wade, we used to use floaters in the field. You know, we used to put floaters, kind of, you know, stack them up a little bit. I'm talking about budget hunting here, guys. Your first couple years, you're not going to have a spread like we have. You're not even going to have the quarter of the spread we have. So, guys, it doesn't take a lot. Get creative. And always remember, mojos work. But if you can buy full body decoys, guys, even just a dozen, a dozen full bodies, if you're hunting a river and you put them on the, in, in, on the bank or on a sandbar, does wonders, does wonders. They, they, they think it's real as hell and they come on in there. So. so to wrap up the field side of this, use your floaters in the dang field. They're ducks, they're birds. They're not people that are intelligent and understand everything. Yeah, it might work sometimes, it may not. Who knows? But you don't have to have a huge, huge spread. It's starting to rain if you can hear the noise. Excuse the rain noise. But field hunting in my, in my eyes, guys, especially for ducks, if you can get on Craigslist or you can get on Facebook buy, sell, trade, and you can buy some that are literally half or a third less than buying new full bodies for the field, do it. Our snow decoys are beat to all hell. I mean, these things are beat. They're cracked, they're everything. That Some of the heads are cracked, almost falling off. But guess what? We still put them out, we got them for cheap, We and, and they still work. We still whack birds, we still have eight, six, five man limits all the time. So decoys can be beat up. You can touch them up, whatever you want to do, but a decoy is a decoy. If you can get twice as many guys buying them off of Facebook or Craigslist, buy them things. Just because it might be scratched or this and that, sure, whatever. It's your first couple years. Don't dig in too deep on this deal. 
get you some decoys built up, and every year you can keep moving up your decoy spread. Buy a dozen a year, and you'll be good to go. This rain is getting awfully loud. I know I touched on the subject about buying used decoys back in my buying cheap spreads video. Go check it out. I'll try to link it right here if I remember. But honestly guys, I can't stress enough. Don't think you gotta go buy brand new decoys. Get a deal, man. Go on the, go on the Facebook pages and Craigslist. It's okay to have used decoys. They do not have to look the best. You don't have to be like the pros. I'll tell you right now, this is the first year, or no, last year was the first year that we bought brand new decoys. All the decoys we've ever used were always one to two to three, four years old for the last six years. Before that, in our first one to five years of hunting me and Wade together, they were all used, every one of them, and a lot of them were beat to hell, and we still use beat to hell decoys. So don't think you have to have the best of the best of the best of all these things. Me and my Goodwill shirt. Little side note about Bobby, I love Goodwill shirts, god dang. Old Sprint car, I think it's probably from 1982. $2, make you holler. Uh, I wanna thank all you new subscribers. I know I see you guys, I'm talking to you guys, I'm replying to you guys. So let me know, like I said, how long you guys been hunting if you're new. What's up? Let me know. I like to conversate with you guys. I like to know what you guys want. Your comments let me know what path I need to take to serve you up that nice, tasty, foul footage. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks guys. Peace.